Hey guys, you're watching Jay's Two Cents and keeping in the tradition of water cooling month here. October has kind of unofficially become water cooling month here on Jay's Two Cents. I've showed you the basic water cooling build. I've showed you the advanced water cooling build and it wouldn't be complete now if I didn't show you an all-in-one water cooling unit. So today we're gonna take a look at the Sidon 240M sent to us by the awesome guys over at Cooler Master. Today we are going to take a look at the Cooler Master Sidon 240M. This is a 240M because it is a dual 120 millimeter fan radiator. It's designed to directly compete with the Corsair units and the NZXT units and the uh, thermal take units. There's a lot of all-in-one cooling options now coming out on the market because water cooling is becoming more mainstream. So on the packaging here you can see this is still factory sealed. It's got the cellophane on it. It's brand spanking new. Um, it says right here in the front, liquid, liquid cooling uh, or liquid CPU cooler, and it's maintenance free and it's efficient design for overclocking. So they're specifically targeting overclockers with this unit. And that's obvious by the fact that it is a dual uh, 120 millimeter radiator. Uh, on the back of the packaging here, nothing special. You just see some dimensions here. It does mention that it's a dual radiator. Um, the thickness on this radiator is 27 millimeters thick. So it's a little bit smaller than say a standalone 30 mil radiator if you were to build one, uh, your own custom loop. Uh, but it does have the block and the pump and the coolant and everything built in to one package that goes on top of your CPU, which is the way pretty much everybody is doing it now with the all-in-one cooling units. Now on the back here, we have a tiny little, little bit of English. It's just right here. We'll go ahead and read that. It says it's pre-filled. It's a closed loop liquid cooling system and requires zero maintenance. So that's what really appeals to people who are breaking into water cooling, but they're not confident yet to go with their own uh, full custom loop is it, it is maintenance free. You don't have to fill it, drain it, flush it, none of that stuff. Uh, it is ultra fine micro channel cold plate optimizes water flow and heat dissipation. So there's a lot of technology inside the block uh, to create the uh, most amount of heat transfer possible in a small package because that's kind of these down the downsides to these all-in-one units is you have to fit a lot of stuff in a tiny little package. Uh, durable and powerful water pump dissipates heat effectively and maintains temperatures through stable water circulation. So it's got a pump that moves water. Uh, it's a large aluminum radiator with a wide RPM range PWM fan creates a superb balance between cooling and efficient noise. So it is an aluminum radiator, not a, uh, a, a copper or a brass radiator. So that's gonna kinda, it's gonna do two things. One, aluminum is a great dissipator of heat, not as good as copper, and brass is still debatable. A lot of people don't like using brass. Um, but it's gonna keep the weight down. It's not gonna be very heavy. In fact, this whole package is not really that heavy. Uh, and then it says universal mounting solution. It fits all Intel LGA, uh, your 2011, 20, uh, 1150, 1366, 1155, 1156, 775, and all your AMD sockets, FM2, FM1, AM3+, 3, and AM2. So it's gonna fit any CPU you've got basically with this one box. So let's go ahead and pull out my, uh, my trusty, my little knife here, and let's go ahead and bust this thing out. Never mind the blood on this thing. Um, it's it's been well used so and we'll go ahead and take my little knife here and we'll bust the cellophane on this thing because it is brand new there we go okay so it is a uh a lot like a lot of boxes now it's a little flip box you flip it open and then you find some very high-tech foam awesome stuff i love this stuff and it's it tastes amazing that was okay, so anyway, well, you've got your fans here individually packaged, and they do come uh, shipping with, uh, and as I mentioned, I don't know how to open up Ziploc baggies. I never figured that part out. Okay, the fan that it comes with here is, uh, it's their Cooler Master. It's a high static pressure fan. I don't know the exact model number of this fan. It's got a really cool kind of a hologram looking uh, thing there but it's a very high pressure fan. At least it's what they advertise on their website. And you do get two of these fans. Uh, you have your instruction manual that is, I do recommend looking at this. You know, most of the time being, being the man that I am, I would just take these and I would you know, toss them over my shoulder. But 
You wanna be sure that you're mounting it properly to your socket, so you definitely wanna hang on to that. You have all of your mounting hardware. Uh, it's got your backplate for AMD. It's got all your different brackets here for Intel. It's got, uh, it looks like it's got some splitters in there for uh, making sure that you can actually hook up all of these fans. Oh, look at this. You have a rubber gasket. This is really cool because this is designed to break down uh, vibrations when you mount your radiator to your case. Usually it's a solid mount, so the fans vibrate right through the radiator, right through the case, and then you get a, a kind of an unpleasant sound. But this rubber gasket is designed to eliminate that, so really cool, glad to see that. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you do have your uh, PWM splitter, so you could hook both fans directly up to your CPU header. And I do recommend using PWM if you have it available because PWM allows your fans to ramp up and slow down based on CPU load, not so much temperature. So you can kind of be proactive on the temperature rather than reactive of having your fans ramp up after they reach a certain temperature. So it's definitely a benefit to that. Uh, it does come with some uh, Cooler Master thermal paste. It's not pre-applied. Uh, you apply it yourself, which is both good and bad if you're a newbie. You definitely want to make sure you're applying it properly. Um, but you've got all your retaining brackets and screws for all of your different socket sets. I'm not going to pull all these out. I don't want to lose any of it. Uh, you get your uh, your bag of silica gel. Uh, don't eat that. And then you have the actual unit right here. And I don't believe there's anything else in the box. So we'll go ahead and set the box aside. Okay. As I mentioned, because this is aluminum, it's very, very light. There's very little weight to this. Um, but as you can see, if you look carefully, some of the fins are, are you can kind of see that right here. Some of the fins are kind of bent a little bit already. That's normal, guys. Don't freak out over that. I've seen people on forums freak out saying, some of my bends were uh, fins were bent. Fins are bent. Fins were bent. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's no different than a radiator in your car. These are very, very thin pieces of aluminum. They're going to get bent. Just don't smash your hand against it and you're not going to have a problem. You can take a tiny screwdriver and kind of straighten those out if you want. It's not a big deal. Trust me, don't sweat it. The uh, block here has its power cord, which is also PWM. Um, so it, it, hopefully if you have two PWM headers, usually on a higher end motherboard or even mid end motherboards today have PWM for CPU one and CPU optional headers. Uh, I would set the fan or the pump probably on CPU two and then put the fans on CPU one. But everything is contained in here and it's got a nice uh, cover here protecting the uh, copper block and the pump is built into that. And then you have obviously here your radiator. Now it does have here a warranty void if removed and a do not tamper with blah blah blah. This is the fill port that they use to pre-fill the system. So you don't want to mess with that. You don't want to take it off. You don't want to try and drain it or anything. This is completely maintenance free. Now the first thing that comes to mind is that the tubes are a little bit small. Um, they're really thin, but because you're dealing with such a small packaged unit, uh, as I mentioned in some of my other water cooling builds, it doesn't matter how thick they are. They, uh, it, because you're dealing with such a small unit here, there's gonna be more than enough flow. And then you do have, uh, you know, they are bendable. You know, they, they do rotate here on the block. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, getting it in just the right position. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna take uh, our NZXT X58 system over here on the side, whether you can or can't see that. And we are gonna put this unit in there. We're gonna replace, uh, inside this unit, it's got a 120 millimeter all-in-one uh, cooling unit in there now. We're gonna do some before temperatures, and then we are gonna replace it with this unit, and we're gonna see exactly how it performed. And then after we check out the stock performance, we're gonna stick these JetFlow 120 fans in a push-pull configuration on this radiator, just because these fans are awesome and we have four of them, so why the heck not? So let's go ahead and do that. We'll record the temperatures before and after, and then we'll come back and bring you guys the results and give you final conclusions on this cooler. Okay, so this is our test system before we've actually installed the Sidon 240M. It's an X58 with an i7-970, and it's got basically a generic, no brand name posted, uh, 120 millimeter with push-pull fans on there. But if we take a look at the temperatures on this thing, right now we are currently doing uh, stress test here, we can see we're almost reaching 100 degrees on these cores. So we may or may not have a thermal taste, a thermal taste, a thermal paste problem on this system. 
but we are going to go ahead and uh, we're going to put in the Sidon 240M and see just exactly what happens on this system. There we go, we got the Sidon 240M now hooked up to our system, our X58. I've got it mounted outside of the case just sitting here because this case is only 200 millimeter friendly. As you can see, there's no holes for 200 millimeters on top. Some might say those are the holes, but nope, that's not 240 millimeter friendly. So anyway, um, as you can see, the fans at stock speed, even though they are hooked up to a PWM controller there, are running at full speed and they are fairly noisy at 100%, but I mean, there's so much air coming out of there, you can probably hear it on the camera there. That's okay, you, you want the airflow, because look at our temperatures. They came all the way down into the 60s and low 70s from the 90s, the upper 90s. So yeah, there you go. Now we got one more test we want to do real quick. We want to throw four JetFlow 120s on this and let's see just what happens. Well, there we go. If you can hear me over the fans, we've got all four JetFlows running at 100% fan speed. And the temperatures are uh, not really any different, to be honest with you. Hope you can hear me over there. I mean, they're, they're good. They're definitely good, but they're about the same temperature as they were with the stock fans that come with this thing. So, I mean, it just means that the cooler is so efficient, it's doing its job with the, the airflow that comes with the fans. So the jet flows look pretty awesome, uh, but the fans that come with the kit are surprisingly really good. So, there you have it. The Sidon 240M from Cooler Master. It's a really good all-in-one cooling unit for less than 100 bucks. It comes with some things that I'm very excited about, like the uh, rubber gasket that goes between the fans and the radiator. The fans that come with it are absolutely great static pressure fans. They're a bit noisy though. I definitely recommend using some sort of a voltage reducer or a fan controller, or hook them up to PWM fan headers on your motherboard so you can control the speed because they can get very noisy. But then again, the static pressure on these is so great that you can slow them down and still maintain great cooling as you saw on the X58 computer that we did the test with. And not to mention, because they are standard bolt patterns, uh, you could go with something extreme like we did here by putting four of the JetFlow 120s on there and it just looks really awesome. The only thing I do wish that this came with though was its own proprietary software to control the speed of the fans. That way you could set up a profile so you could have a noise profile so you can control how loud they are uh, you know, you can ramp them up when you're gaming or you can turn them down when you're just browsing the web and you control the fans. There's a lot of motherboards that give you that sort of flexibility, but it would be nice if it was included with this kit. But again, for hundred bucks, you can't really go wrong with this. So if you guys like this product here from Cooler Master, the Sidon 240M all-in-one water cooling unit, check out their website. Their information is down in the description. They've got a whole line of cooling. You definitely know Cooler Master, especially with the popularity of the Hyper 212 and the 212 Evo and the whole line of cooling products. And they've definitely got something that'll meet your needs. We've got more Cooler Master reviews coming up on the channel. We've got a V700 power supply. We've got the N600 uh, mid tower case, and we've got the Control RX super smooth gaming mouse pad. So you guys don't want to miss that. As always, I'll see you in my next video. If you liked the video, you know what to do, and we'll see you next time.